Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to Matthew Tutorials. And in this video, uh, we are going to solve another problem involving solving partial differential equations by the direct integration method. Now solve this PDE subject to the conditions z of x0 is equal to x squared and z of 1y is equal to cos y. Now contrary to example number one, in this example we've been given two conditions. Now how are we going to apply these two conditions? Now let us start. Now uh, with this PDE we are going to integrate uh, partially with respect to x once and then partially with respect to y once. Now integrating with respect to x, we have partial z over partial y is equals to x squared of y dx. So partial x, uh, partial z over partial y is equals to when integrate x squared, you get a third x cubic times y and then plus a function of y because we're integrating partially with respect to x. Now, we integrate with respect to y. Integrate with respect to y. So integrate this equation here. So we have partial z is equals to a third x cubic y plus a function of y. But we integrating with respect to y. So z is equals to. We integrate this with respect to y. We have one over six x cubic y squared. Plus, we integrate this, we have, can use capital F of Y, then plus a function of X, let's say G of X, because we're integrating with respect to Y. Now, we can call this equation number one. Now, we've been given two conditions, that Z of X zero is equal to X squared, and Z of one Y is equals to uh, cos y. Now, with the first condition means z is equals to x squared and y is equals to zero. With the second condition, z is equals to cos y and x is equals to one. So we apply the first condition in equation number one. So we'll have so our z is x squared, so x squared is equals to 1 over 6x cubic times 0 squared because our y is 0, then plus f of 0, y is 0, then plus g of x. When we simplify this, we'll have x squared is equals to, this times that one is 0, so we'll have f of 0 plus g of x. So you can write this as g of x is equals to x squared minus f of 0. Uh, we've met g x the subject. Now, we replace g of x. Okay, we replace x squared minus f of 0 in equation number one so where there is g of x will replace with x squared minus f of zero in equation number one so z is equals to one over six x cubic y squared plus f of y plus uh, x squared minus f of not uh, f of zero now, 
we apply our second condition that z of 1 y is equal to cos y so our z is cos y and then our x is 1 so you can call this equation number 2 so we apply condition number 2 in equation number 2 so we have our z is cos y is equal to 1 over 6 times 1 cubic y squared because our x is 1 then plus f of y plus 1 squared because our x is 1 minus f of 0 so we can make f of y the subject so f of y is equal to uh, cos y minus 1 over 6 y squared because 1 over 6 times 1 then times y squared just 1 over 6 y squared then uh, minus 1 plus f of 0 now we replace in equation number 2 substitute f of y with this part cos y minus 1 over 6 y squared minus 1 plus f of 0 so we'll have z is equal to 1 over 6 x cubic y squared plus now we'll replace this love cos y minus 1 over 6 y squared minus 1 then plus f of 0 plus 1 our x is 1 according to the condition so plus 1 squared which is 1 then minus f of 0 so simplify this we'll have z is equals to now f of naught minus f of naught cancels then negative 1 plus 1 is 0 so they cancel out so we remain with 1 over 6 x cubic y squared plus cos y minus 1 over 6 y squared so this is our solution now we have solved we've integrated this part by the direct integration method so we integrated with respect to x once then with respect to y once then we applied our condition to our two conditions the first one is z of x0 is equal to x squared and z of 1y uh, is equal to cos y. Then we get our solution as z is equal to 1 over 6 x cubic y squared plus cos y minus 1 over 6 y squared.